Uh, All right. Um, now, now let's 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 look at uh, the the other aspects of what uh, Dr. Bamia had to, to speak about, and I like uh, uh, Ricketts Hagen at this point to name the other errors that he says that he has found that all of us have not paid attention to, including the Statistical Service and the AFDB. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Um, we are not going to have time. I think we need a whole session to just go through Dr. Baumer's uh, presentation. Do a, summary. Do a summary. I mean, uh, serious issue, uh, first of all, when you look at page 9, the debt issues that he's got there, both page 9, 13, and 14. And I, I, will, I will take that one, that particular example. Page 11, the deficit numbers that he's given are actually inaccurate. Page 14, the same problem. When you go to page 17 and 18, the interest payments and the allocation to MDAs that is given, the figures is given, are also incorrect. You have the same problem with page 19. When you go to page 20, with the capital expenditure, information is given there inaccurate. Just let's take one, since we haven't got all day. Go to page 13 and look at the last paragraph. Go to the middle of it where it says, by the end of 2008, Ghana's total public debt stood at 9.5 billion, 33% of GDP. In the last six years, the stock of public debt has, been, has, has seen a dramatic increase to 76.1 billion, which is 67.1 of GDP at the end of 2014. And he's got a figure on page four. This is an increase in the stock of debt by 700%, which is 66.6 .6 billion over a six-year period, and it represents an average increase in the stock of debt by 116% a year. This is incorrect, and I'll prove to you why it's incorrect. Dr. Baumier is doing a simple, you know, economics. He, he's making it so simple that it's untrue. Look, if you look, the, 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 the economy and the debt management structure is more complicated than what Dr. Baumier has computed here. He is basically saying that at 2008, the debt stood at 9.5. In 2014, it's 76.1. Now, and he's saying that the difference between the two, which he computed as 66.6 .6 billion, is 700%. That is inaccurate. It's inaccurate in a sense that there's a lot of refinance that goes on over, over the years. And I'll just take one example. Let's just take that there are no debt in the economy. I'll just, because it's too complicated and that it pulls a wool over our eyes. But let's just take a simple example. Let's say, for instance, in 2007, we went to the, the euro bond market to <coughs> borrow 750 million. Let's just take that. That is a debt in Ghana's books, it's 250 million. 2013, we didn't, we didn't pay that money. The money is still sitting in our books. 2013, we went to the market and borrowed another 750 million. What the, Dr. Baumier's analysis is saying is that because we've gone to the market to borrow 750, the debt as of 2013 is 1.5 billion. That is not correct. Because in 2013, when we want to borrow 750 million, we used 250 million of that money to service the, the debt or the bond that was taken the MPP government of 750 million. So in effect, the net or total debt is 1.25 billion, not 1.5. So Dr. Baumia is basing his 600, and I'm just trying to compare, he's basing his 66.6% on, on this simple <laughs> analysis. What that means is that by saying that we have borrowed if you take the 750 that we have taken in 2013, we have borrowed 100 percent. Is incorrect because when you let the two together, the net borrowing is actually 1.2, which means that the percentage increase is actually 67 percent, not 100. By the same token, the 700 percent that he's got here is inaccurate, and he's using yes, these yes. numbers. He's cooking economic numbers. He knows better. I know Dr. Baumier definitely know how to calculate this. But he's making this simplistic argument that our, our, our uh, stock of debt has gone up by 700, which is not true. 
because we have done a lot of refinancing, and all governments do that. I'm just taking a bond example. But when you take other debt that we borrow to pay for other debt that we have borrowed in the past, some even in the 70s, you cannot just make this simplistic argument that you know the debt has gone up by 700 percent. By this simple example I've given you, okay. you can simply say right. the debt has gone up. Thanks for, thanks for that. that uh, using that after and, and, giving and, and, us a number of touch. what you thought were or errors, yeah, and you have you have anything to reply? Just one example. You see, he he he's making some very <laughs> categorical statements. He says he's cooking up the figures mm -hmm. and making simplistic you know, um, arguments as far as the debt stock. As far as economics and uh, mathematics are concerned. Economics and mathematics are concerned. Well, how do you reply to that? The man is confusing himself. I'm happy that he's <laughs> confusing himself. <laughs> all the figures that have been used are all from the budget. Baumia ba never cooked a single figure. In fact, there's seven <coughs> 76.1 billion is in this year's budget. Mm -hmm. You should go look at it. He never cooked a single figure. Is it not true that by the time the NDC came, the public debt was 9.5 billion. Today, the budget says public debt is seven. In fact, Bank of Ghana even confirms that 76.1 billion. Why do you talk about Baumia cooking any figure? What figure did he cook? Is it the 9.5 or 7 percent? Listen, or the 7.5. When you calculate the percentages of 9.5 to 76, is it about 700? Don't do that. Can I? Don't do that. Can I? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's wrong statistics. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah. You are talking about refinancing, and for that matter, yeah. the debt is reduced. Absolutely. I am saying that when you calculate <laughs> in economics, when you calculate the percentage of a movement of 9.5 to 76, it's 700 oh, percent. Can I finish? You realize you didn't inter interject Listen, when you Can I finish? So and the, daily, the stock of increase per year is 116. It's correct. But no. never made any mathematical no. error. No. He's correct. No. The figures are correct because he picked them from the budget, mm. and the calculation is correct. I, I, I'm, I'm really surprised he's saying that. Look, listen, the whole of the eight years of President Kufour, tax revenue for all the eight years was 15.2 billion Ghana City. Tax revenue. The six years that the NDC has had, tax revenue is 62 billion Ghana City. But when I put it in this lecture, I thought they should be interrogating such figures. And the point and the is, I am coming, yes. I am coming. And the point is, in spite of that, Debt has moved from 9.5 billion to 76.1 billion. That is also in your budget. It's not about my dad's cooking the figures. He just picked the figures in your budget yeah. and did the analysis based on the figures. Them. Two, gold. Yeah. Can I finish? Gold earning of the eight year period of President Kufo, gold earning was 9 billion for all the eight years. Six years of NDC, as we see today, gold earning alone, 25 billion. When you come to cocoa earning, of the eight years of President Kufo, uh, uh, the earning of cocoa uh, was $7.4 billion. But for NDC, within the six years, you've got double that, $14.5 billion US dollars. Oil, the whole export of our oil earning was $13 billion. <coughs> In fact, $13.7 billion. That, the revenue that came to government, was $3 billion. No other government has ever experienced that. So when you look at the total earnings of government over the years of the six years, $62 billion as against the whole eight years of $15.5 billion, $15.2 billion. And Dr. Mia is making the point to you that it's unacceptable that you have risen public debt, in spite of all these huge earnings, mm. you have risen public debt from 9.5 billion to 76.5 billion, which is equivalent to 700%. And, and, this how, and this is how Felix will answer and you. Are, you are, you are arguing, what are you arguing about? You. They are for your uh, own figures. So, so hold on, he's going to point you, he's going to point you to what the monies have gone into, which Baumia ignores, and which for them is a big problem, that he does not pay attention to what the monies are actually being used for. Then you, which, should, have, you should have allowed, no, then you should have allowed me to point to him is debt. supposed to enjoy. No, you should have allowed him uh, to, end to, do, to capital expenditure, mm. the ratios of capital expenditure mm. over the years. You should mm. have allowed me to do that. I'll come back to it. That's the second mm. one. Yeah. There's okay. so many of them. Now, okay, now, okay, now, 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 now before Felix speaks, uh, <clears throat> this one is from um, Eric in Takradi. He says, may I know why you always empanel more NDC guys than, okay, 
just pay attention. You will find <laughs> that it's not the case. Um, uh, this one too from Evans in Samba says, Samson, but why the Central University, if the, this lecture were at the NPP headquarters, nobody would be worried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> they are worried then, that the University And then that. you don't identify yourself. <laughs> Dr. Bamia has some credibility to protect. <clears throat> Therefore, he must do enough checks before going public. How do you project a country you want to lead in future in such a negative manner? And then uh, you two don't identify yourself. It is not Dr. Bahamir's fault that the figures were inaccurate. GSS, that's the Ghana Statistical Service, made those figures public. They ought to apologize instead of blaming Dr. Bahamir. You also don't identify yourself. You say, I have never voted against the NPP since 1992, but if the leadership goes ahead to impose their preferred female, okay, we'll deal with that issue later. Uh, this one from Am Amevo Koku says, Joy FM, for more than two weeks now, I have had no water in, um, in, in quarters. I'm on from, but I hear water bills will increase by uh, 1st of April. Please ask water company, when are we getting water? Okay. <clears throat> and you also don't identify yourselves. You say any party in opposition will take advantage of the woeful economic situation in this country to score some political points. Felix Kwachi uh, would, should give us a break. Dr. Bamia did that, uh, what a pol any polit politician will do. <coughs> he delivered a lecture as a respected economist. Uh, Felix Kwachi has no business being <laughs> on news file today. Sorry, he's here. Uh, to discuss economic <laughs> matters, especially <laughs> when the respected Dr. Bavia has delivered this all-important lecture. Um, you go to talk about ministers in a way that I will not be a convey exactly. yeah, <laughs> MPP belt for you. Um, uh, this one is from Egbemo. Sorry, I'm sure I didn't get that name correct. From Takrad, he says, why is the NDC dis, uh, disputing in part the Baumia lecture and not the entire presentation. This one says, I can't tell you this GSS error they are talking about will come back to haunt us. Let's do proper research and public accurate and pump. Okay, you went, wanted to say publish accurate figures uh, <coughs> to reflect our current economic situation. Uh, I've got a few more of your, not a few more really, a lot more of your messages, but I'll pause here <laughs> now.